Ooh. Ooh, that Jamaican blend is good. Hey guys, I am Pokemon Sandy 6 and welcome back to a brand new video. So this will be another video on building my Nintendo GameCube collection. So the last few videos you saw that I got Beautiful Joe and Mario Power Tennis. And I still have a couple more but I you know that I need to edit on my computer and stuff, but Recently, I went shopping at my local store here. This is called V-Stock. Now, there are other stores in Missouri that's similar to it, like Hastings, even though I think that went out of business maybe like a year or two ago. And I don't know what else is equivalent to it. I'm sure there are places in other states, like in the West Coast or the East Coast and all that, are similar to it. You know, I've seen people on YouTube and stuff, they go to retro stores that remind me a lot of V-Stock. Enough about that. They were having their anniversary sale, so I figured I would go there, I'd get some stuff, and I actually did get quite a bit of stuff. You can see that video over on my Afrogeek channel. I'll leave a link in the description below so that way you guys can go and check it out during your free time. This game that I purchased, it's actually one that I've been eyeing for about maybe a year. I've read reviews about it. It's gotten like mixed reviews. I guess mostly positive from parents saying, oh, this was a fun game. You know, this is a fun game for my kid who wants to go back and play some retro stuff that I grew up on. And then some adults saying, yeah, I remember playing this game as a kid, but going back and playing it now, it's kind of like, eh. But I figured I'd test it out for myself since I love the show and everything, and I hope they come back for a season six. And that game I'm going to be talking about is Teen Titans for the GameCube. Now, I personally was like, I kind of want it because at the thing it was buy two, get one free. So I was like, I, I'm not going to pass up on this deal because when I was looking at it on GameStop, I was like, I don't know if they're going to send me the case and the manual because it, it looked like they were just going to give me the disc. And so I'm like, yeah, I'd rather not get it through GameStop. I'll just take my chances and I just happened to stumble upon it while I was actually looking for the Prince of Persia games for the GameCube and then I was looking for a couple Batman ones too since I'd just been watching Batman Beyond. It looks pretty interesting on the back. It, I mean, I was reading it while I was at the store and it looks kind of interesting so I figured, yeah, you know, and I know it's a little pricey. It's like $19.99 when on some places like GameStop you can get it for like cheaper. I didn't want to take the chance. I'm a person who likes to have the artwork in the case to kind of have it complete. If I don't get a manual, I guess that's okay. But, you know, I figured we'd go ahead and open it up and kind of just check it out. All right, so I got my screwdriver here, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up and get the plastic off. It's something about the taste of Jamaican blend that makes it different from previous coffee flavors that I've had, but it's good. Especially when you mix it with the Hershey's Caramel Creamer and some Sweet and Low. So, fair warning, the game is used, which I kind of ex expected, so I'm not really, you know, tripping about it being used or whatever. All right, so I'm gonna try and get these used stickers off here real quick. A few moments later. Wow! So they upped the price on this game. That's how certain retail retro stores can con people, con people out of money and stuff like that. I don't buy anime from there because I've noticed certain places like this, I will admit they will rip you off, but it's all about that nostalgia feeling to me. That's why I like going there and I used to go there with my friends when I was in high school. I'll drag my girlfriend there even though she likes video games and anime and she likes Marvel and DC and all that stuff, but she's not really too big on the store. But I noticed as I peeled off the $19.99 price tag sticker for use, I found a used $9.99 underneath it. So I'm guessing they must have upped the price on it maybe previously or something. I'm not too sure. But I just find it funny that certain places do that. What I was saying previously about the anime is that I don't, um, I choose not to buy anime from there because I've noticed they will up the price on it when you can get it cheaper on Amazon and other retail stores. Oh, well, it's a little bit of stuff left up there. But I mean, with some, what a rag and some hot water that could easily come off. All right, so without the plastic and the stickers, here we go. Teen Titans for the Nintendo GameCube. I believe this also was on PlayStation 2 and Xbox, because you know, stuff like this, you can't just put on one console. Let's go ahead and open it up. 
It looks like this game has been um, refurbished, or I want to say fixed numerous times because I see two little things that kind of indicate that, yeah, this game has been worked on and stuff, which is no big deal. But as we look through, I can see that we have the disc and the manual, so that's a win for me. I figured B-Stock would do that. They would at least try to keep the manual in there. And if not, it's whatever. I bought games from there that didn't have the manual. I'm gonna go ahead and take the disc out so I can get a better look at it and see any marks. Um, all right, so you guys may not be able to see this, but there are definitely a couple scratches. Nothing too big. No, really finger, maybe like, a, no, not really fingerprints, just a couple little tiny scratches. I'll hold it up. Maybe you guys can get a good look at it. Maybe you won't be able to see it. The front side seems to be decent. Um, you may be able to, you know, kind of just see a couple little minor details there that need to be worked on, but so far I'm very impressed. And I'm excited because it's like I said, this game is something I've been eyeing for like a year. So it's kind of nice that I get to add it to my collection. Yeah, but when I went there, I bought, like I said, you can check the video out, link in the description below from my Afro Geek Plus Ultra Navi channel. I got, I didn't just get this game, I got a couple other games from my PS4 and some other stuff, so you guys can go ahead and just check it out over there. All right, I'm gonna quickly read the back to you guys, that way you guys know, um, guys can understand, I guess what the game is about, and I can too. So it is up to one to four player simultaneously, oh, simultaneous, but it doesn't, Whatever, it's the same thing. You can play up to four players. Calling all Teen Titans. An unexplained video game has been sent to the Titan Tower and it stars the Teen Titans? <gasps> when they turn on the game, strange things begin to happen. Is the new game playing the Titans or has a mysterious villain breached their defenses and taken control of our heroes? Play as Robin, Starfire, Beast Boy, oh, Beast Boy <laughs> Cyborg, and Raven in a thrilling adventure that threatens to wipe out the Titans for good. You can switch from one type, one Teen Titan to another in real time, fight over 10 notorious Teen Titan villains, including Slade, Cinderblock, Jinx, G G Gizmo, and Mammoth. Play with or against up to three friends simultaneously in multiplayer mode. Now this will be kind of fun. I don't know, I, I don't think, this might be, well. Maybe this could be kind of like a fun game to play with my girlfriend or maybe with my friends if you want to do a retro game night. Well then again, I don't think my girlfriend's gonna want to play this. She does not like DC whatsoever. I mean, I'm more of a Marvel fan, obviously, but there's certain stuff that I like about DC. Like I love Batman, I love The Flash, Wonder Woman. Those are like my three favorites. And then after that it'd be, you know, Green Arrow, Superman, Cyborg, Martian, no, Martian Manhunter, Superman, Cyborg, Green Arrow, and then, you know, a little bit of Green Lantern here and there. So, there are some things, you know, like certain Earth Supermans and certain Earth Batmans, you know, certain things that I like about the series, or that I like about DC. Overall, this looks like a pretty interesting game. I'm kind of glad I went ahead and invested in it, even though if I did kind of get, you know, a little ripped off, I don't care, I'm just glad that I went ahead and I purchased it, and then I finally got it, and this is just another game to add to my collection. But of course, this isn't the end. I plan on searching for other games, like I got my eyes on wanting to get Super Mario Sunshine, because I have not played it. I know my friend, has, one of my close friends has it. I haven't played it. I kinda wanna get my hands on 
maybe Pink Pinkman 1 or 2, maybe both, and just a couple other games like Mario Party 6. Definitely try and get another Killer 7. Alrighty guys, thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you would like to turn on post notifications, you can either do it all the time or there's a certain mode where you can do it every once in a while to where you won't get every notification, but you'll get one every so often when I post a video. It's great for the channel. You know, I've been liking some a lot of the support I've been getting on this and my Afro Geek channel. You know, even if it's just a little bit, it still means a lot to me, especially now that I'm coming back to YouTube and trying to get things under control and everything. It really means a lot. So thank you guys so much. And I can't wait to continue making more content down the road. Also, feel free to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to check me out on SoundCloud. And you can even find me on Instagram. I don't think I have the Instagram link down in the description below, but I'm sure you can still find me somewhere out there. I've had it in there previously before. And don't forget to subscribe to Afro Geek plus Ultra Nappy, my anime geek channel. I'm always putting content out there, you know, and it's been sort of blowing up. I'm sh I think I'm at 29 or 30 subscribers and I've only been uploading videos for like two months. That's more than what I did when I first started off here on this channel back in the day. So that really means a lot that I've been getting support and stuff on that channel and I've been getting more subscribers and support on this channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. You know, I don't really know what else to say. So, alrighty guys, I am Pokemon 86 and your boy is gone.